Um, it is the way in which we can enhance the architectural design through good lighting. That it's very important to create environments um, with the lighting where people um, look good and feel good. And um, right now there is the moral imperative of energy conservation. And so we also are responding to that demand and our role is very important there. I think that we can show the, um, the owners that they benefit from um, are the basis of our knowledge, that they can um, provide a more valuable building by involving us early because we can also help with um, uh, not only the costing but with the design, a better design building with better lighting is a more valuable building. It is in our, in the United States, it is now um, almost a given that in a complicated building um, or even in a big residence that you want someone who is knowledgeable of how lighting works and what are the best fixtures and the sources and how to control them and that they will get not only a better project but they will also be doing it in a more um, energy efficient and, a, and, a, and it's good for the budget. You know, that we can help anticipate what costs will be and we can anticipate what the energy requirements will be. And I want to stress the importance of teamwork so that architects aren't working alone and then they say, well, I think we should have an engineer, you know, an engineer or a lighting designer very often there is a team and the team then communicates well with each other and you listen to also the owner. You know, what is the owner's real um, uh, intent and what is important to them? And you listen carefully to the architects. What is the most important and salient points of their design? And then we come with ideas having listened to both sides and we present what we think are solutions. And, um, and then we go on from there. Um, I think that it is part, is educating um, the owners and the architects and designers on how important our role is and with the understanding of how complicated lighting now is. It's not just choosing the right incandescent or par lamp or quartz lamp. There, is so many, there are so many choices out there. And you can make dangerous choices if you don't know what are the right companies, what are the rest, best LEDs, what you should be looking for. And so um, it, it is telling them that they will get the best design but also the uh, and the most efficient one but they will we will help solve their problems because things can go wrong and the lighting designer is the person who is on the team that works with the manufacturers that works with the engineers that works with the architects that responds to the demands of the clients and so I think that it is that Again, the educating and telling them what the role is and how they can benefit from it. You know, in terms of the path that it takes, the lighting designers have to make the architects and the designers aware of what we can contribute. And um, they know what they can't do. They know they can't navigate all through the, uh, the energy codes and they, no one can know all of the latest sources and the latest ways to control lights. So you can convince the, the architects, that's how it started in the United States. It's the architects who then said, I need a lighting designer on this team. Whether it was a big residence or whether it was a big commercial space. I mean, you look at a building uh, like the Seagram's building in New York. 
There is an example of one of the early pioneers, Richard Kelly, of, of architectural lighting design, working with Edison Price, one of the great manufacturers, and they, and they made new fixtures that have become lighting standards, and they solved a problem, and they had an enlightened owner who knew to get the most wonderful building in New York that you had to have this team.